Hannah here. And my lovely uh, filming assistant, Pate, is filming me. Say hi, Pate. SPF. <laughs> Today we are talking SPF. We had a couple questions on Twitter. We were on our Mexicana vacation about SPF and wearing it with your makeup, um, breaking out your skin. Cause a lot of people, SPF, not foundation, but SPF um, sunscreen breaks out their face. I will tell you also, ladies, this is a tip. You want to file back in your file effects up here. Do not buy a foundation that has an SPF in it if you're going out at night and you're going to use your flash on your phone. Ghostface, hashtag ghostface. You know when you see these girls and they're beautiful and they have these cool outfits on and they have like a white face and like a really tan body and you're like, what happened to her face? That's because there's SPF in her foundation. Your SPF should be in your moisturizer or if you're going out at night, you don't need to, you don't need to wear SPF at night, right? The moon's not going to sunburn you, I promise. Moon burn. <laughs> moon burn, hashtag not burn burn, moon burn. So if you're going out at night, do not use your SPF foundation. Lots of, most drugstore foundations have SPF in it, but if you go to the MAC counter or like another counter and say, I want a non-flash SPF uh, foundation, that's super important. I've actually fallen victim to that, unfortunately. I deleted all those photos permanently from the internet. Anyway, um, I'm not going to make this long and drawn out, but there has been some questions about SPF. Um, not just sprays, but the sticks and the creams and all these different things. So we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. Now, I want to start with some drugstore products because you know I'm, I'm a bargain girl and I like to buy things at Target and Walmart where everyone can get them. So Neutrogena is one of my favorite SPF brands for the face, right? Um, I like this. This is a Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Liquid Sunscreen. It's a broad spectrum, which you always want broad spectrum, right? SPF of 70. Um, the thing about the SPF that you want to look for is it cannot go above 80. If it says 120, it's not, that's basically illegal and not true. So, and you want to look for sweat proof, water, not just waterproof, sweat proof, because waterproof and sweat proof are two different things, right? Um, I like the Neutrogena. They use, they use, um, they recycle their bottles. They use good ingredients, great ingredients actually. And this is a sheer liquid. So you're not going to put it on your face and it's going to look like white, like you're the lifeguard. It's got this like handy applicator. So as you can see, when I put it on, I don't have a huge white spot on, on my face. You can ask Olivia when we were in Mexico, I bought this brand called Alba, which I really love from um, Whole Foods. And I had a white sh blanket on my face all the whole time. I look like, I don't know, Baywatch gone bad. So I love this product and it's a little bit expensive, but with the Neutrogena, because it's a better product, a little bit goes a long way. So this is the Neutrogena liquid Ultra Sheer Liquid Sunscreen with Helioplex. This is a great product. This also comes in a stick. Um, it's like a deodorant tube for uh, SPF. You just glide it on. It's really nice too. And I use that for like bike rides or if I'm just going outside. But the good thing about this that I really like is it's great under your makeup. So if you're going to go somewhere and you're going to wear your makeup and, you, and you're not going to use your SPF makeup because we don't want to have separate makeups all the time. It's too expensive. You use this underneath your makeup. It's great. It's it's sheer. Like I said, it's, it's not oily. It's fantastic. Now, let's talk about this guy for a minute. These sprays, which I'm not going to say that I don't use these because I do. Not for your face. Ladies, this does not go anywhere near your face. First of all, this will dry your skin out like that. When we're aging, getting older, we want supple skin. We don't want dry, cracked granny skin, right? This will dry your face out. This is just for the body. Also will dry your body out too. Not great. Okay. Now let's talk about the CC cream. This is one of my favorite brands. It's, it's, it's the yes brand. Yes to tomatoes. Yes to blueberries. Yes to uh, grapefruit. They have tons of different products. Now it started out in Target. Now they're selling it at Walgreens. A CC cream is like a BB cream, but better. It's a correction product. So you're going to get um, even skin tone, that kind of thing. It's like a tinted moisturizer, but also has SPF in it. So this is this is the color correction and hydration version. It's lightly tinted. Um, the SPF is 18, so it's a lower SPF, but you could just wear this and nothing else as your makeup, whatever. As a matter of fact, I have a little bit on from this morning probably still. This, this is a great product, and it's not going to set you back a whole lot of money. Okay, a little bit more expensive one is the MAC BB Cream. I can wear this as an actual foundation because this is buildable. The CC Cream is not as buildable as this is. Um, the MAC BB Cream, it's the, it's the beauty balm is what the BB Cream stands for. Um, it's, the, it's from the Prep and Prime line of MAC, so if you, if you use all the Prep and Prime stuff, you'll love this. Um, it's SPF 35, it's fantastic. You can use this underneath your powder, you can use this without powder, it's fantastic, but this is for the summertime because it does give you a little hint of a sheen, which is really nice. I like this. 
for a little more of a higher end SPF. Now I wore this every day for about 10 years and I still wear, I still, I still really, really like it. This is Kiehl's, the Ultra Facial Moisturizer in SPF 15. Now my skin has gotten a little bit more wrinkly as the years have gone by because I have damaged it in the sun. So if your mom tells you to stay out of the sun, you need to do that. So I have to go up on my SPF more and they don't make a really high SPF. Any, um, I think they do, but not in this formula. I think, I think the highest it goes is 30, but this is a great formula very sheer very thin which I love and you can use this on your whole body not just your face which I love so Kiehl's makes great products also this is one of the first products that I ever used that didn't break my face out as far as I had an SPF in it so try this one too now from one of my last um, products that I love another Neutrogena product like I said I've used a lot of the products from Whole Foods but they all burn my eyes the Alba sunscreen I didn't buy again because I'm not gonna waste money if it's gonna burn my eyes Olivia can tell you when we were in Mexico I was in the ocean like this. <laughs> I was like crying the entire time. So no, no Alba and a lot of the organic sunscreens, although they're great, they burn your eyes and they just haven't gotten a great product. So if you have an organic product that you love, let me know because I need to, I need to go ahead and pay for that and buy it. So this is the Neutrogena Pure and Free Baby Sunscreen. This is a pure all natural product you can feel comfortable putting on your kids, but also on your face. So I use a lot of baby products actually. I use Johnson & Johnson face wash. I mean, um, all a body wash. My thing is if it's good enough for a baby, it's definitely good enough for my skin, right? Right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> He's just really interested in yeah. this, right? So this is one of the... Um, it's good enough for a baby, it's good enough for my baby. Oh, geez. Bring on the geez. Thanks, honey. Anyway, um, it's 100% naturally sourced sunscreen ingredients it won't it's, and it even tells you here it's water resistant and sweat proof it won't run into your eyes and won't sting when I saw that I was like sold because like I said the whole week we were in Mexico I didn't want to use my spray on my face and I only brought the stuff from Whole Foods and Olivia can tell you the whole week I was like complaining awful so this product is great it it, it goes on really smooth it has a great little top it goes on super smooth you don't waste any which I really like and it's just it is harder to rub in then, then the other one, it's kind of hard to rub in. Feel that, honey. What do you think? Soft, right? Oh, wow. Yes. Soft, right? You can use this for your bike ride tomorrow, okay? So anyway, um, this is my number one favorite. I like this and the MAC BB Cream are my two go-tos. Like I said, I love the Kiehl's if you just need a 15. If you don't need a lot of SPF, the 15 is fine. But this and this are my two favorite this is a little bit more expensive because like I said it's, it's it's a drugstore product but it's Neutrogena but I got this buy one get one 50% off at Walgreens they're running all these sunscreen specials right now so if you have a Walgreens near you you can probably get a special on all your Neutrogena products remember you don't want to use the same kind of sunscreen on your body as you do on your face your face is what you really need also wear a hat you know this part of my forehead is Basically, you can connect the dots because the sunscreen, I mean, the sun damage is so terrible. So get yourself a cute ish fedora, no cowboy hats. Uh, maybe that's kind of, I don't know, so yesterday. But with, with the shell necklace, gotta have a shell necklace with a cowboy the hat. The shell necklace? Uh, we're not Kenny Chesney, honey. Anyway, um, protect yourself. You know, I mean, there's so many things. When I go to the dermatologist, they, they check for melanoma and they're checking freckles and they're checking moles and this and that. Your face is the most important thing, right? So let's make sure that we cover our face, we use good makeup so our face doesn't break out and we really take care of it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But also, um, if you have a great sunscreen that you love or a great makeup that has a sunscreen in it, I know Bare Minerals has a, a pretty good one that I'm looking to try. Let me know. Also, don't forget your chapstick with SPF when you go to the beach, when you go to the pool. If you're just going to the gym and you're not wearing any makeup, put that chapstick on because your lips have to be protected too. Right, honey? We like soft, kissable lips, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I want you to enjoy your products. Like I said, let me know. And don't forget, be careful with these sprays. They are drying out the skin and we don't want flaky legs and arms, right? No. So, always say yes to SPF, but remember, not in your foundation. Wear it separately, okay? And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>